alitoka akienda kutafuta mm. sasa nikiwa nazomba serikali iweze kunisaidia bila mama tarudi hapa Kenya alafu tuna kwanza huyo mama ndakuwa tegemeo yangu mimi sina kazi ya kufanya endo tukua saidira naye hapa na mimi niachie watoto waine mm. alafu tena kitu kwanza nataka kujua kifo yake litokea aje jiasikia mwisho tukiongea naye ilikuwa last week on sunday usiku akapiga simu akaongea na watoto wake Kunambia pinya lenda kutafutu kazi, wako sikiza na utajiri. Eh? Akarudi kwa, kwa embasi ya Kenya. Huko uka, uka waka mwoli almost, almost two, two, two months. Eh, two months. Akisema narudi, narudi. Eh, nukaluza watoto tena. Kwa nuwa menyo arudi, what's, 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 going, what's going on? Eh? Sasa hapo misi juu nini ndelea hapo. Ya mwisho, sasa sikio. Ule nipata bari. Uu msia na mwenye alikuwa hapo kwa ofisi, pili alipiga simu, nasema Judith hakuwa na ugonjote kwa mwili. Ya lenda kupiga, lenda kwa bafu kubrashi meno. Wakona mekaa sana kwa bafu. Kuenda kuangalia, wakapata mtu wa melala hapo, amelala kwa bafu, amelala kwa bafu. Na hakuna dami hote, hakuna dami hote hapo kwa bafu hapo. Nino chungu kubwa sana ndani ya royangu. Jyo mama huyo tumekane almost 26 years. Tujie kwa sana na yata kidogo. Sasa mi badu nikuna kinunda kubwa ndani ya royangu. Kwa majina na ito ya Lida na Chemo Mbok, Judith ni dada yangu. Zikuwa tunomba serikali, watusaidie ili walete mwili wake uku Kenya. Na tutataka kujua haswa nini kilifanyika hadi Judith akaaga. Mjua kwa mgonjwa. Tulipata tu ripoti Judith amenda kwa bafu kuoga na kanguka na kafariki. Sasa tunataka kujua ni nini kilifanyika siku hiyo hadi Judith akaaga dunia. Hmm. Tunahisi uchungu sana. Judith alikuwa kwa breadwinner, alikuwa anasaidia mama yake, alikuwa anatusaidia pia sisi. Sasa watuoni mtu mwingine ambaye anaweza tusaidia amewaacha watoto wachanga na wana, walikuwa wanamtegemea. Wana, wana Okay, me naitwa Julius Mtimba. I'm the immediate neighbor wa Judy. Na we appeal to the government. Ili wakaweze kufanya uchunguzi kujua vile Judy alikufa. Na si ye peke yake kwa sababu tumesikia watu, watu wengi wasichana wanaenda huko. Uh, na wengi wanarudi wakiwa kwa sanduku. So we are wondering what is happening there. My names are Vincent uh, Edward Oduor, Oduong. Uh, Judith Adiamba Ombok, the deceased, is my sister. Is my sister-in-law. Judith, Judith already they had made their mind that they are coming back to Kenya. So that initial day, already the first lot had already come back to Kenya. They were waiting for. Now their their lot was the second trip to come back to Kenya. That's what happened. Yeah, it is so unclear to us because uh, 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 so I was with the agents. I went to the offices and also I went to the also I went to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I saw the documentation. Judith, uh, according to the health records, she had a clean bill of health, and she undergone before she travelled to Saudi Arabia. She had she, had, she had undergone through different tests, checkups, and everything because that's the requirement. So even the agent himself. In fact, they were telling me that's why they delayed uh, uh, breaking the information to the family because they didn't know what really happened. You see, the, the, the family will want to know a lot, and that's why they delayed. They would say that let us delay first, we compose ourselves so that we know the exact thing, how we are going to relay the information to the, to the family. Kwa majina na ito George Otieno, Judith ni mama watoto wangu. Alitoka, akenda kutafuta. Sa niki nizomba serikali iweze kunisaidia. Bilo mama tarudi hapa Kenya. Alapu tunaya kwanza, huu mama ndakuwa tegemeo yangu. Mimi sina kazi ya kufanya. Endo tukua saidira na ya hapa. Na minuachia watoto waine. Alapu tena kitu ya kwanza, ataku juu kifu yaki litokea aje. 
Jaskia mwisho tukiongea naye ilikuwa last week on Sunday usiku akapiga simu akaongea na watoto wake akamwambia bila lenda kutafuta kazi wako sikizani utajiri eh akarudi kwa kwa embassy ya Kenya huko huko akamold almost almost two, two, two month eh yeah, two month akisema narudi narudi eh nikaluliza watoto tena kwani wamenyo arudi what's 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 going what, what's going on eh sasa hapo mimi sijui nini endelea hapo ya mwisho sasa sikio bila nipata bari huu msichana mwenye alikuwa hapo kwa ofisi bila piga alipiga simu nasema Judith ako ako hapo na ngonjote kwa mwili eh yale anaenda kupiga anaenda kwa bafu kubrush meno eh wakaona amekaa sana kwa bafu kwenda kuangalia wakapata mtu amelala hapo amelala kwa bafu amelala kwa bafu na kuna 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 hakuna damu yote hakuna hakuna damu yote hapo kwa bafu hapo nina uchungu kubwa sana ndani ndani roho yangu jomo mama huyo tumekana almost 26 years eh tujie kwa sana na hata kidogo eh sasa mimi bado niko niko na kinunda kubwa ndani ya roho yangu kwa majina anaitwa Lida na Chemo Mbok Judith ni dada yangu sikuwa tunaomba serikali eh watusaidie ili walete mwili wake huko Kenya eh na tunataka kujua haswa nini kilifanyika hadi Judith akaaga mjua kwa mgonjwa tulipata tu ripoti Judith amenda kwa bafu kuoga na kaanguka na kafariki sasa tunataka kujua ni nini kilifanyika siku hiyo hadi Judith akaaga dunia hmm. tunahisi uchungu sana Judith alikuwa kwa breadwinner alikuwa anasaidia mama yake alikuwa anatusaidia pia sisi sasa watuoni mtu mwingine ambaye anaweza tusaidia ameacha watoto wachanga na wana, walikuwa wanamtegemea wana, wana Okay mi naitwa Julius Mtimba I'm the immediate neighbor wa Judy na we appeal to the government ili wakaweze kufanya uchunguzi kujua vile Judy alikufa na si ye peke yake kwa sababu tumesikia watu, watu wengi wasichana wanaenda huko Uh, na wengi wanarudi wakiwa kwa sanduku so we are wondering what is happening there my names are vincent uh, edward oduor oduong uh, judith adiamba ombok the deceased is my sister is my sister in law judith, judith already they had made their mind that they are coming back to kenya so that initial day already the first lot had already come back to kenya they were waiting for Now their their lot was the second trip to come back to Kenya that's what happened so, yeah it is so unclear to us because uh, 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 so I was with the agents I went to their offices and also I went to the also I went to the minister of foreign affairs I saw the documentation Judith uh, according to the health records she had a clean bill of health and she undergone before she traveled to Saudi Arabia she had under, she undergone through different tests checkups and everything because that's the requirement so even the agent himself in fact they were telling me that's why they delayed uh, uh, breaking the information to the family because they didn't know what really happened you see the, the, the family will want to know a lot and that's why they delayed they would say that let us delay first we compose ourselves so that we know the exact thing how we are going to relay the information to the to the family mm-hmm.